Kettle. Once again, cut it through that left hand, and then well, it was the left hand, he stuck it out like a jab, and then he counted it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy some. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with red, officially weighing in at 154, one half pounds. He has 33 professional fights, 32 victories, including 28 big wins by knockout with only one defeat. From Austin, Texas, USA, the former WBC Continental America's super welterweight champion, James Mandingo Warrior Kirkland. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with green, official weight, also 154, one half pounds. As a professional, 44 professional victories, including 31 wins by knockout, only one defeat with one draw. The Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, the former super welterweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. Okay, those trunks are good there. Those trunks are good there. James, give me a good clean fight. Obey my commands and protect yourselves at all times. Canelo, yo quiero una pelea en Libia. Obedezca mis órdenes y protejanse a todo tiempo. The father-son team in his corner, Kepo Reynoso and his son Jose. Round one begins. Right hand over the top by Canelo Alvarez. Attacker or a counterpuncher? Well, he's a counterpuncher, and tonight he'll have to be a counterpuncher because he's fighting a guy who's going to be all over him. But he can fight either way, Jim. He can attack or he can counter. Canelo on the defensive right now as Kirkland fires away, and Canelo keeps his guard up in the corner. Canelo already ate a good right hand from Kirkland. It's one of the reasons he's in the corner right now. Hard right hand by Canelo. Kirkland firing away, lands a left, lands another left. Canelo's getting hit by Kirkland, and he's stuck in the corner. But let's remember, Kirkland is vulnerable, especially Irv squares his feet up and forgets to stay in a responsible boxing stance. He just got hurt bad with left, left hook. hook. Just got hurt real bad with left hook. Canelo with that good left hook. Oh, he got Other hurt bad hook. again with it. Canelo almost landed the third big left hook, right uppercut. Kirkland open to the right hand. He's done. Right hand lighters have been hurt in round one. Hard right hand by Canelo. I've never Alvarez seen, has a chance for something big. I've never seen Kirkland try to play rope dope that tells you how hurt he must be. Well, Canelo taking his time and landing the big shot. No one Hard right hand. Down goes Kirkland. Minutes still to go in the first round. Possible opportunity for a first round Seven. knockout by Canelo. Hey, stay there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No Kirkland. stranger to getting knocked down in round one. Kirkland has tasted the canvas here. He should have stayed close to Canelo. He was much safer when he was close. He can't outbox him, and he can't box with him. Close range was his best option because now Canelo is throwing wicked body shots, wicked uppercuts, and Canelo has gotten comfortable. And Canelo can't miss. He's doing the same thing that Pacquiao did last week. He's staying right in the wrong distance to win the fight. Hard left hook by Alvarez. Guys, the reason we know Kirkland, the only other time he didn't have her, he was knocked out in the first round, and he's in jeopardy here Big in the left first hook. round. Another right hand. Bad Kirkland body shot. Again. Huge body shot by Canelo. He's piecing this together brilliantly ever since the early assault from Kirkland that locked him in the corner. Huge right hand. Left hook to the body. Canelo working, working. John Shirley looking. And Kirkland's going to make it out of the round. He see Canelo throw left by the shot, followed by a straight right hand, right down the pipe. That hurt, and that sent Kirkland to the canvas quickly. Once again, you see a straight right lead, block, by the shot, straight right down the pipe. That right hand will put you down every time. 68 in round one, 36 of them were power connects, 10 to the body, just like that left hook to the body there. And another big left hook, knocks Kirkland into the ropes. Alvarez landing everything. Straight right, straight right, straight right. Left to the body. Kirkland's gonna get stopped if he doesn't throw some shots. Tremendous shots. 
How is he still here? I don't know. Incredible conditioning and, is the only answer. And punching back, trying. Uppercut by Alvarez. He's hitting him with everything but the kitchen sink, and Kirkland's still standing up. That's why they call him the Mandingo Warrior, Jim. And now the Mandingo Warrior starts <laughs> to fire himself. He is Amazing. throwing punches. He can survive that assault. He is throwing punches, and he's showing great resolve, but the punches don't yet have the snap that they do when he starts to come back in these many fights we've seen. Well, because this is what your boy Triple G talks about when he says Mexican style. This is Mexican style. And it's best. Now Kirkland once again pins Canelo against the rope. And Canelo getting a little bit of a breather here. What for he starts to fight? What? 99 out of 100 fighters have already lost this fight. Twice. <laughs> Good head movement by Canelo Alvarez. Now he fires back to the body. Good left hand shot to the body. Hurt Kirkland again. Straight right hand. It's an all out war in round two. And these are big, powerful junior middle. You wonder if Canelo Alvarez is too wire with him. So he is not punched out. That was the right uppercut. Team Kirkland hoped to avoid. They're getting hit with everything. But that uppercut lifted him off the canvas. Up to the body, right to the body, right uppercut. Another big rally by Alvarez. And he is tight. You see Canelo land a beautiful left uppercut. What keeps Kirkland up on his feet? I do not know. You couldn't ask for a better place left uppercut, just like this left hook, right on the button. Left hooks don't get landed any cleaner than this. I mean, wow. What a big Dave McClinton said that the only athlete he's ever worked with, and he's worked with a lot of NBA and NFL running back quality, when the play is over, his legs are still churning. Here's Kirk. What? Skill over will, and Kirkland has to change that equation. Perfect shots by Canelo Alvarez. Kirkland keeps coming. He can't keep giving Canelo them big shots, though, Jim. What are those body shots? Those body shots will wear anybody down. What a savage beating. This is Kirkland target taking. practice for Canelo Alvarez. Yes, it is. And Kirkland's taking every shot and coming back. And telling him to cut there he is. Uppercut, knocks Kirkland down, second knockdown of the fight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, baby, eight. Stay there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Show me something. Kirkland at great pain, so let John surely know he's not knocked out, just knocked down. Second knockdown. Right uppercut continues to land. There's a perfect straight right hand, and Shirley's gonna stop the fight. What a performance by Canelo Alvarez. Maybe all things considered the most electrifying of Canelo Alvarez's career. Talk about closing the show. Self about what he's been through in an unbelievable fight. That was the uppercut jab right up under the left jab, which is why he abandoned the jab. He wanted Curtin to throw those type punches so that he could counter. Once again, Curtin threw that left hand, and then well, it was the left hand, he stuck it out like a jab, and then he countered it with the uppercut, which is why you don't stick late lagging punches out like that. You give a guy something to work on. So through all of the firefight in there, Canelo was thinking the whole time. Thinking the whole time. He looked down to the body right with a jab and comes right over the top with the overhand right. He knew that Kirkland was prone to getting knocked down. And if you can get knocked down like that, it's not as hard to knock you out if you keep working the body shots. If you watch his attack, Canelo always got good body shots in during those attacks. Talking about body shots, there he aims low and then fires upstairs. That's a perfect feint. That's what I call look down, but come up. <laughs> A brilliant display by Canelo Alvarez. One more look. Remember, Wilfred Benitez's knockout of Murray's Hope was almost the exact same punch, just without the jab. He looked down and came over the top, and that's where you see real old school boxing lessons right there with Canelo Alvarez just showed you. Wow. An amazing win for Alvarez. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here at Houston, Texas.
in the tradition of slugger versus slugger. The end comes at two minutes, 19 seconds of round number three. The winner by knockout victory, the fighting pride of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Saul Canelo.